good with y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in to another video. We hitting y'all with back to back upload card back. I've been slacking. Oh, uh, y'all see, man, it's a pretty, it's a fairly pretty day. Uh, it rained last night, but feel good out here. And uh, I'm about to head up the summit, man. I'm about to head up the summit racing. I gotta go by the shop first. I gotta go by Joe Buddy racing. Uh, what what I got going on today? Basically, I gotta go take my intake manifold back, and I gotta get a different one. So I'm gonna show y'all which one I'm gonna get. Um, I'm gonna have to replace it. Um, I, I probably could have worked around it, but I was like, man, I'm gonna I'm go ahead and replace it. Cause the power band, the one I'm gonna get, the uh, the power range will be better, the RPM range will be better for the camshaft I got anyway. So I'm finna go on up here and uh, take this green mile, man. So I'm gonna go to the shop first, stop in my hometown, leave from there, go to Summit. Then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna hit that gym. Y'all know I hit the gym all the time, and then I'm going to stop by shop and drop it off and all that and, you know, see what's going on. So, and I know it's probably going to be dark by the time I get finished doing that, because it, it just, I don't know, this stuff, time go by fast. And look, while I'm at it, hope y'all enjoyed that last video, too. Y'all got that merch on, the J. Michael 2004 merch. This is probably the best seller, most popular shirt. It got J. Michael 2004 on the back and footage. I don't know if I can show y'all. I, I ain't going to be able to show y'all that. That ain't going to work. But, it, look. If you look down below any video you, you watch, you'll see my merch. You can click on the shirts, man. I got a whole a ton of different shirts. This just this is what I got on today. Uh most popular bestseller. Then we got the regular logo shirts, different colors and stuff. Y'all check them out, man. Cop that merch, man. Support for the people that already cop the merch. I appreciate y'all. I got an actual J Magnum 2004 rides line coming out. I got the driver driver shirts coming out everything so y'all just stay tuned i appreciate all y'all and let's get to joe buddy racing all right y'all so i just got in the shop um see wifey caught back on the lift i just told y'all in the last update the fuel pump had went out i see aunt got the fuel pump on i noticed the tire over there flat i don't know what happened i don't know if it picked up a nail or something called these tires are brand new y'all been keeping up with the update so uh i don't know get that figured out because i saw the car leaning but um, uh, I don't know what else he's doing to it yet, but now, but um, uh, you know, be coming soon. But this is what I gotta take back. Got it, took off, took it off the engine, then put it in the box. So I'm finna run this up the summit and switch that out. And I forgot in the last update, I said I was gonna show y'all the torque on. I told y'all all my stuff over here, man. But I was damn neat, like, I'm like, there it is. That's the torque on um, installed on the uh. On the Camaro, so yep. Waiting, y'all see the transmission still missing, but y'all saw the last update, so that'll be back soon, and then we'll get this thing back, back running. Tire still good. Then these right here about to come off of there too. About to go to some, go to some, <laughs> some coil over, coil over shot. So y'all be seeing that soon, front end back. But yeah, that's it. Uh, so let's get the summit, man, cause time go. Time roll fast, so let's get to something. All right, y'all. So we checking back in. Let me get that lighting right. We checking back in. Uh, made it up here to summit. Took that. That green mile, man. I was gonna leave the camera in the car, but I figured I'd let y'all see what's on the turntable because I want to see myself. And look, summit. Hey, man. <laughs> I'm trying to get on that turntable now. This year, the Camaro or the box heavy. It don't even matter. We can do both of them. Put one on one side. You can put the Camaro on one, one uh, rotisserie and put the, the uh, box Chevy on the other one. So, hey, look, I'm finna get in here. Um, I'm probably ain't gonna record on, at the counter and all of that. But uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm gonna get. Well, what intake I'm gonna get. I gotta swap that one out and I'm probably gonna get some more stuff while I'm up here. So, I'll get with y'all uh, when I get done. So, see y'all in a few. All right, y'all, so this what we got on here today. I don't know, uh, I don't know what it was on here the last time. I think it's the same stuff, matter of fact. Cause I remember that, I think it's the same stuff from the other vlog. But like I said, look, Summit Racing, y'all watching. I'm trying to get on these things. Y'all get at me, man. Let me know what I need to talk to, so. Uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. All right, y'all, so, if this your first time tuning in to one of my vlogs, y'all ain't never seen the Summit store. This is uh, McDonald's, Georgia store. Like I said, man, they got the whole nine, the whole setup in here. So I was gonna go to the counter first, but I'm gonna go ahead and handle this. 
get their return, then we're gonna get what we what we need. Look at that boy, I need to need to grab that right there. Put it in that song. Grab that, put it in the box. Throw some nitrous on top of it. <laughs> but yeah, they just stole man, they got some everything, so we about to uh man, I said I need to go get my part. Ain't nobody in line. But um, I'm gonna get their return, then I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. Alright, so I'm out, did what I got. Went with the weigh-in intake manifold. So y'all, I look a mare over there. Went with the uh, Team G intake manifold, pretty good. I started at 2800 RPM. They're gonna work out even better. Um, this an oil pan right here. And it was actually a good deal because they came with a kit. They came with everything, intake gaskets, uh, gasket glue. It came with everything. $312. I remember that price. We got a hard money balancer. Man, I ain't have to buy all this stuff, man. That's a shell. Oil pump shell. High volume oil pump. Oh, uh, this is pickup for the oil pump. Cause I got a seven quart pan. Man, that thing came with the gasket. All oh, that came with that kit. It was a good deal for that intake. The oil pan bolts. All that came with that kit. So that was a good buy, man. That was a good deal. So I ended up spending three hundred dollars um, after returning the manifold. It was six hundred some dollar total. All oh, this stuff, six hundred dollars. But I had to return, and I got two hundred. This one right here, like I said, was three twelve for the kit. The other intake was two twenty four with tax. So that's how that worked out. And uh, I take it out the box when I get to the shop and show it to y'all and all this stuff. So we get this in the car, then uh, I'm gonna catch y'all in a minute. All right, look at that. I told y'all, it dog, y'all can't see nothing I'm doing. But uh, I'm back, I made it back, I opened the shop. So I'm about to get this stuff unloaded right quick, and then I'm gonna show y'all what we got in there. And I'm gonna show y'all why we, uh, why I had to change that intake. Cause I forgot to show y'all, I'm moving so fast, I forgot to show y'all why I had to change it. So let me get this unloaded, I'm gonna get that in the shop, then probably gonna do a little unboxing. Alright, so... I just left everything in the middle of the floor car. Y'all see we got lights out, man, everywhere. So it's the this the brightest spot in the shop. Then after I do this, after I show y'all this, I'm gonna go over there to teach to teach skate old motor and take the uh, water pump off. Cause that water pump pretty much brand new. I'm gonna reuse that water pump. I'm gonna get the bottom pulley off, the water pump pulley, um take my alternator off because it pretty much brand new and all my alternator brackets. You know, just to make it uh, easy on um, cause I'm ready to see that thing on the way. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. And like I said, look, the intake gaskets, they are for my, um, for the IK200 broad axe heads. All this stuff came together. Well, not that. I'm, I'm going to put everything that came with that. Like I said, I caught a deal on that. The, uh, gasket glue. That's the, uh. The uh, water neck how uh, gasket. That's your carburetor gasket. I'm talking about it came with all this. Then, nah, this on there. Uh, then these your intake bolts. It came with all that. Basically, it came with everything needed. It came with everything needed to um. Yeah, man, I believe I bought these too, man. That messed up. <laughs> I need to take them things back. Man, I bought these from AutoZone. They came with it. Carburetor studs, all that. That was a good deal. That was a mean deal right there. I paid three twelve dollars for that. I was just about to buy the intake. Then the um, guy at the dad at the, at the counter, I can't remember his name. I got his number and everything because we probably going to link up on some stuff. He was a cool dude. He was real helpful. He said, man, we got a better deal on that same intake. And I got all that stuff for three twelve. dollars So that was, a, that was a mean deal right there. Then, say I got a harmonic balancer. I was gonna use the one off my motor, off the uh, cheap skate motor, but I was like, man, I might as well. The motor's so pretty, I might as well get one that look good. So, that's it right there. Man, I don't even want to take it out the plastic and all that. That's it, it got the numbers on it. It's still a budget balancer called, man, you can get a super damper. They call them a damper. Uh, and, they call they can get up there three hundred dollars. Some of them 
depending on what type of what level of engine you build, they can get up there. Let's just put it like that. This one, this one right here was like seventy six, I think. I think it was like seventy six dollars. So mid, pretty good price. Um, it looked good, and uh, yeah, I got that. Like I said, I showed y'all real quick. I got the oil pump pickup, and look, you got to make sure you get the right thing. I got a high volume oil pump. Now, listen to this. I got, you don't need a high volume oil pump if you're running just a regular oil pan, like a five quart pan. You don't need it. Just, you need a standard volume oil pump. You got a, uh, when you're running seven quarts and better, get you a high volume. They make high pressure oil pumps. It depends on what you're trying to do. Don't get it just because it say high volume. But, uh, yeah, that's for that. And you see the screen made different. That, that pickup is for this oil pan. Like I said, it's a seven quart oil pan. And uh, these right here, these oil pan bolts, like I said, I try to make, man, when I'm working with somebody, I try to make their job easy as possible. So little stuff like that will take up so much time, hunt down bolts and stuff like that. So that's why I went ahead and bought these. They were cheap anyway. So them oil pan bolts, brand new stuff won't hurt anyway. And this uh, this the pickup tube that go in the oil pump. So they make it easier too than trying to have to take the one out of my old motor and all that, pick it up off the ground, take the balance off. So I like, man, I'm ready to ride basically. I'm ready to ride, man. So, so that's that. And put everything back in. That crazy right there, man. That that was a good deal for real. That was a top end kit, like came with stud, and I bought all this stuff. I just got some extra one then for the next motor. So yeah, that was a good, that was a very good deal. Um, then y'all see I went with the weigh-in. This actually is a Team G uh, manifold. I done ran Team G before. They make a good, make a good manifold. And that's it. It's a single plane. Like I said, a low, low ride started at 28, 2800. And y'all see these? But that thing pretty too. The runners right here. This was the problem. They go up here to the engine. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Let me get, let me get set up right quick. Cause it dog. Let me get this set up for y'all. Ain't no light over here. I'm gonna have to crank that. Wait a minute. Let me show y'all what the problem was though. Could have been fixed too. Now could have just gasket matched it. But y'all see these runners right here. The runners on them heads, they huge, man. I meant to show y'all when I picked the intake up off the uh, heads. I meant to show y'all. Call Aunt called me last night, man. I ain't he like, man. I ain't think about it till I picked up and looked at it. Now you can get around this sometime, but I didn't feel like hunting down the right intake gasket and all that. Call I'm telling you, the the, the runners on the uh on the heads was swallowing the runners on the uh Torca two intake manifold. So that's why. I went and changed that. So this one right here, and we looked it up. We looked it up. I'm like, hey, make sure this thing. Let me make sure this thing is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> everything and everything. And uh oh, I'm gonna damage my arm. And yeah, they like they match up better. Let me see. Come on, y'all. Y'all gotta work with me, man. I'm by myself over here. But yeah. Let me see if y'all can see that. Yeah, y'all see? See? They about the same size, so. Get right here, gonna work like a charm. And actually gonna work better. It was a little higher. You know, I had to pay a little bit more money, but it's all good, cause it's gonna work better. The uh, Torca 2. The Torca 2 started making power at 2,500 RPMs. And, uh... This one, this one, uh, started making power at 28. My cam, it works at 3,000, so it actually, actually better. And yeah, man, I forgot to give y'all my real talk at the beginning of the vlog. Some of y'all probably ain't even make it this far, but listen, man, cause uh, this hit me, this hit me uh today when I ride and I was thinking, when you when you on a mission, when you on a journey in life. Everybody not meant to make it to the top of the mountain with you. Everybody not going to be there with you. The same people you started with, not the same people you're going to end with. I'm just saying that. It's because if, if uh, y'all probably start out on the same page, 
But if somebody thinking on a national level, or let's say somebody, one person in the group thinking on a state level, then another person thinking on a national level, then you thinking on an international level, what you think gonna happen? If you serious about what you what you want to do in your dream, you're gonna keep pushing toward the international level. They're gonna be happy at that state level. Then he gonna get mad. Then he gonna get mad at the man trying to push for the national level. Then the man for the national level gonna get comfortable and, and, and get mad at you. Cause you wanna be international. So everybody you start with, not who you gonna end with. So you just keep that in mind. Alright, don't don't switch up. People are always talking about don't switch up. Don't switch up on yourself. That's the thing. Don't switch up on yourself. You, you who matter, either either a person gonna get it or they ain't gonna get it. Especially when you know you elevate. So that's my real talk for this vlog. But yeah, we finna jump to the next scene. Oh, no, we not. Let me show y'all this. <laughs> I had to get that out while it was on my mind. Let me show y'all this all, all pan though. Now we back to our regular scheduled program. This is some all pan. By the way, y'all see? This is. Man, I get y'all the normal, man. I, I get the normal. Hold on. Summit oil pan. I ain't need nothing special. Man, this thing orange. Oh, no. Nah, I'm gonna have to paint that. <laughs> we gonna have to paint that. It ain't. Man, no. But yeah, good, cuddle. Boy. I ain't had no seven. I ain't had no seven quart oil pan in a minute. I probably really didn't need it, but. It gonna look better, and uh, yeah, more oil don't hurt, more more lubrication. So uh, yeah, that's that. Uh, and now I'm gonna slide over here, cheat skate motor, and we're gonna turn some wrenches. All right, y'all. So this is the old motor that came out my S10, cheap skate. I'm actually gonna be using this motor, and we're gonna be putting it in. Wifey money color. So I'm gonna be rebuilding it. It's fun to rod bear. Y'all been following me and y'all followed the S10 build. You know, you saw this motor in action, you knew what it sound like, and y'all know it's a five thousand dollar budget bill. This motor, this is an eleven hundred dollar motor. On to my oil pan, the carburetor was eleven hundred dollar motor, man. This thing sounded so good. But I see most of the this already loose. We gotta clean all that up, man. I got dusty. Gonna look real nice when it cleaned up. But all this stuff was new. So I'm about to take the water pump pulley off. The crankshaft pulley. The uh, bracket which, like I said, pretty much loose. They Allen. Allen bolts. And, well, I, man, I think I bought one of them too. But, and I'm going to get the water pump off. So I'm about to get all this stuff off. I know y'all don't want to watch me do that. But, like I said, got a bolt right there. Well, it pretty much out. They Allen bolts right here, so I'm gonna take all this loose, get an Allen, Allen wrench, and hit these, hit these bolts four right there. Water pump pull it in. It four water pump bolts right there. Most y'all know how to do this stuff. It four bolts in the water pump though. If you don't know, one two, and it two on the other side. That water pump will come off. Um, and it's three bolts. And a crankshaft bolt, which is not in there, I'll read out. <laughs> but it's three bolts in uh in the crankshaft pulley. So make quick work of this. Like I said, everything's just dirty, man. All this stuff was new. This was new and has no runtime on it. If y'all know, y'all follow the series. So let's get this off and gonna add it to the part pile. Alright, so the cat all in the way. Get out the way, noob. <laughs> so uh, as y'all can see, I got everything off. I got the crank shell. God, wait, man. <laughs> I got the crank crank pull off. Got the uh, alternator bracket, lower bracket, bolt. Now, the reason I didn't take that pull off, honestly, because, hey, Unk Shop, man, only he know where the stuff at. I ain't got my toolbox. If I had my toolbox, man, and this even took longer than expected, I would have been had this stuff off. But I couldn't find the Allen key and all the Allen keys, so. I couldn't find them, so I like, man, I just take the whole water pump off. It's going to have to be on there anyway. And then he can just separate it, put it back how he want or whatever. I need to find them bolts, the right bolts like that, the bevel like that. They all uh, go in there flat. So, I'm going to uh, got that off. 
And man, look at my part pile, man. I put everything, I put everything together. Cause I had stuff everywhere. Look at my part pile, boy. This thing here is outrageous. All this stuff, all this stuff got to go in the box. All of this stuff going on that box every man. I'm talking about that's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of money. Sitting on the floor right there. And like I said, this stuff on the day. That right there in the intake. So new transmit stick. Strange transmit stick. Man, all this stuff. So yeah, man. I just want to show y'all this. And uh let me see. That's it, man. I mean, I just tried to. I just tried to crank up the money color. It didn't crank, man. I guess it's out of gas. I was going to go get some gas, but ain't no need because, like I said, the tie flat. And I don't know. I might come full with it tomorrow. Tie flat. Got to find out why. Like I said, the tire is brand new. Whole brand new set. So I got to find out what's going on with that. And uh, I don't know, man. We're going to see what happens. We're going to see what happens. So uh, this the end of the video. See it. Too much going on. Box every episode, official box every episode. Can I show y'all the parts, and y'all just stay tuned, man. Stay tuned in with me and everything, and uh, I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one.